Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nastasha. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on TikTok and Instagram if you haven't done so as well. Today, I'm super excited to share with you guys what's new at Home Goods. I haven't been to Home Goods in a while. It's definitely been quite some time. And they have some great new arrivals for the new year that I can't wait to share with you guys in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And without further ado, we can just jump right into it. Now, the first thing and probably the most exciting, this piece is been on my wish list for a while. It's kind of like a wooden totem pole type of like decor piece. And when I saw it, I was like super excited to see it. But when I checked the price tag, it was $130. And I was like, hmm, that's just so much. And then I went and found the TikTok that I originally saw it in. And back in October, it was only $60. So the price has gone up and it's gone up more than 50%, which I find to be crazy. Now, this isn't the first time this has happened. Um, you guys, if you saw my bathroom makeover, the same thing happened with the pots I got. So I paid $60 for the large pot. And then one of you guys went to your local home goods, found it, but it was 129 again. So I think what's happening is when certain items get popular, if they only end up getting one back in stock, they tend to raise the price and it's pretty high. So even though I did purchase this item because I was super excited to find it, I am going to be returning it just because I figure $130 is kind of a lot to spend and if it was 60 before maybe I'll hold off and maybe I will find one at the $60 a price point but it's super cool you can totally use this as like hat storage or I really like the kind of idea on the TikTok that she had there's like a really expensive lamp that this kind of resembles so you could totally put a lampshade on top of it and then what I was thinking to take her idea a step further is you could get a wireless puck light and put it in there and this could totally be turned into like a cordless lamp which I still do think is a really cool idea so I'm tempted to keep it I don't know you guys let me know in the comments down below should I keep it or should I return it all right next is the vase section is insane right now like at every single location but at my location in particular they had so many nice faces this one in particular caught my eye i was like oh my gosh this is so beautiful if you want to do that whole like get the look for less this would be perfect get some dry branches to put in it and you can style this like again at the center of a dining table i think would look really pretty or even at an entryway but these pots are super affordable and they look really good and they're really heavy and like good quality as well next i checked out the coffee table book section and they always have so many good coffee table books it's honestly hard to choose but i saw this one in particular after flipping through all of them that I think I drew towards the most, which obviously it's like a minimalism, a home book, which is totally what I'm trying to do for the new year. Really trying to practice more minimalism in the home, especially within my closet and my wardrobe. I've been really working on that lately. So I thought this is a really great book. And again, it's a little bit more on the larger scale. So if you're looking for a coffee table book that's a little bit bigger, I definitely would recommend checking that one out. Next, this thing was so heavy, I couldn't even lift it myself. Um, this is like a full marble like jug style vase. This is worth every penny in my opinion because it is a full like solid marble piece. And for it to be like 50 bucks I believe is the price point on this, that's insane. If you bought this from somewhere else, you would pay way more just to even get it shipped to you because it's so heavy. So being able to get something like that is crazy. I feel like places would charge like $500 for something like that and it would totally be like kind of like justified because of how heavy and like the quality, but you can get it for 90% less at your local home goods. Next up is just this larger jug of style vase. I've seen this a few times and if you can't get your hands on the ones that were in my bathroom, I feel like this is your next best option. A really great alternative. I almost honestly got these because I'm showing you guys this one here, but they do have like a set if you can get lucky and find one. So this one's big, but they make one that's like even a little bit larger than this one. You can kind of do what I did in my bathroom video. That was like a super popular um, little thing so if you guys want to go back and check that video out you'll kind of know what I'm talking about if you miss that one but I have like a larger and then smaller vase like in the corner with some really like pretty faux greenery in it and it just looks so good to have the staggering vases so these are a great option if you want to get that look next up is this little planter that I immediately fell in love with and honestly I'm kicking myself for not getting it because I feel like this is a really great piece so this looks like a little like log of a tree or like a little tree stump uh, kind of deal and it's actually a planter so I guess it's meant to look like a tree branch and you can put like stuff in it but I like using stuff like this like at the entryway I actually have something a lot larger like this on my like 
countertop and I just like put everything in it like miscellaneous like I have keys in there garage openers remotes whatever I just put it in there so you like don't see it so I feel like this would be a really great option to have like on your entryway table and you can just kind of like toss keys in it or you could use it as a planter too all right next up I found something that I liked that was actually on sale and I feel like that's usually hard to come by especially in the furniture section um this shape on this coffee table is so cool this reminds me of the anthropology collection that I have in my bedroom. I have two side tables that look very similar to this as my nightstands. And this is way more inexpensive of an option for you than that. Like this table, it costs less than even one of those side tables, which is crazy. And I felt like the quality was just as good. So if you're looking for a coffee table, this would be super cool. And you could totally use like a different table that's a little bit higher than it, then kind of like stagger them if you wanted to kind of like get that staggered look as well. I just love this. And if I needed a coffee table, I would have got this for myself. Next up is this cute little boucle stool. And I know there's just been a ton of like boucle items all throughout everywhere, but I thought that the shape one on this one was a little bit more unique and it's just like a super small like stool you could get two of these and put them under like a console table in an entryway and I think that would be cute or you can even use them as a side table like this little stool would have been cute as a side table if I didn't already have one to go next to my sofa and again I think it's at a really great price point next up this is actually a CB2 lamp dupe and I actually own the real version of this lamp and I think the retail on it was like $250 so this this one is $200 less than that. It looks exactly the same. Um, it is gold instead of the silver, but I believe the CB2 one came in both. I just personally happen to have the silver one. So this one is definitely really great and the quality on this one was really good too. Next up, I shared in my last Amazon video some travertine lamps. I love travertine lamps. I think they're gonna be a piece that you can get that can be super timeless in the home. So I saw these at Home Goods, and the fact that they had a set of two is always great. Sometimes you go in there and you fall in love with the lamp and they only have one. And then you have to do like a wild goose chase to all the other locations to find the second one but they actually had two of these and I do think that they are really nice they're sturdy and I love the lampshade that came with it all right next up is this art piece and I actually like took this off of the rack and like put it on the floor and was like do I want this for above my bed like I feel like this would be such a good option for above your bed um, I ended up putting it back and I'm kind of kicking myself because I feel like it would have looked good above my bed I'm just trying to like do, be really good about saving money right now. You guys know I'm starting the house hunting process, so it just doesn't really make sense to like be buying a ton of new decor right now. Um, but I still really want that. And I'm hoping that somebody sees this video and you guys go and pick it up because it is a really great piece. And they have this really cool gold one too that would be cool in like a little boy's room. Like if you have like a little boy, I think this would look so cute above their like crib or you could use it in a nursery or even if the little boy's a little bit older this is would just look cool even a teenager's room this would look cool so i really like that piece next up again another furniture sale item that i think is just being neglected because of how dirty these are but guys you can literally like clean these so easily you can get one of those little bissels off of amazon or you can use like a local company if you guys are local to like the southern california area i have a guy that is really great at like cleaning upholstery i have him like come out and like clean my cloth sofa that I had before this. Like he came out like regularly to clean it. He's gone to like several of my friends and family members houses. He does a great job. He can clean like stains out of rugs and everything. So he could easily have like cleaned those. So I think they're a really great deal if you wanted to try to like take those home and clean them. I think you just snagged yourself like literally the greatest deal ever because they are on sale. All right, next up, I fell in love with these nightstands. And if I were in the market for some new nightstands right now, I would have got these. I love the wood detailing on them. I love the marble top. And best of all, I love the price for all the detailing and the quality that you're getting. These were shockingly nice. I was like, oh my gosh, like Home Goods had some really great options for furniture. Usually when I go in there, they have like great decor, but the furniture is usually a miss. But today they kind of had a little bit of everything. Another furniture piece that I fell in love with are these olive green waterfall benches that you could use for in front of your bed I I've seen that like everywhere and it looks so good or you could use this as an entryway and put a really nice 
art piece above it. Like you can use this so many different ways, but I love this and I loved the green color on them too. I thought that these were perfect. Next up, this is a parachute home dupe. Now I did recently find some parachute home at home goods, but this one is like a dupe and it's even cheaper. It reminds me of one of the collections from parachute home that I personally have. I have a lot of quilts, but I don't have any throw pillows. So I was really tempted to pick these up, but I I reframed, I put them back, but they were so soft and really good quality. All right, and then these next two pieces are literally restoration hardware, get the look for less, which is shocking to find at Home Goods. Usually you don't find that many restoration hardware dupes in there, but today I found two. So this is the, I forget the name of the collection, but they make these consoles and I love them. They actually are in the process of discontinuing the whole collection. So you can still kind of get these pieces at the restoration hardware outlet, but these are even cheaper than they are there. Now this first one, I would just take off the handles. I don't know what it was about the handles. I just don't love them, but you could easily remove them and put something that looks a little bit higher end. And to me that would totally elevate this piece and it would not look like it came from home goods. And then when I was browsing and walking actually on my way out, I saw this other console where I like the handles on this one a lot better. And if you're looking for something that's larger for like, um, putting this like under your TV. This is seriously perfect and at such a good price point. All right, and then I fell in love with this cute little faux fur candle. I just thought it was super cool to add like a little bit of texture and it's very unusual from what you usually see in the candle section at Home Goods. So I was really just drawn to its uniqueness and I really think that this would be a cool option if you were in the market for a candle because it would just add that little nice pop of texture within the home. All right, next up are these jugs and they got more in stock. I love mine. I got mine over the holiday season to put some like holiday branches in it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw how I styled this jug. And if you don't already, make sure you head on over there because I show fun styling stuff over there all the time. But yeah, I love this jug. I own it myself. I was even tempted to get another one just because it's so affordable. I think these are like $14.99 and online. Another site has them and they are $50. Another site has another one and it's actually $200 and Amazon has them for 250. So if you see these at your local home goods, definitely snag them. You can put any type of greenery in them and I think they look amazing. All right, and then this next furniture piece, I really loved. Again, if I was in the market for like a console for my entryway, I feel like this would be perfect. Again, it had the marble top, had the very unique shape with the wood and I really liked the handles on this one as well. So all in all, in this trip to home goods, we found some really awesome furniture pieces. So if you guys are in the market for refreshing your space for the new year, I would highly recommend picking up one of those furniture pieces if you're in the market for it. If you have an older piece, keep in mind, you can always do what I like to do. I like to sell my older pieces on some sort of marketplace or I'll sell them to my nearest like home consignment shop. That's another great option. They'll kind of sell it for you and then you can use that money to get a new piece. That is always my tip. I don't like to just like be wasteful and get rid of the last item. I like to find it a new home make a little cash and then put it towards the new item. So just a little helpful tip if you guys saw something that you liked in today's video, but that is everything that we saw for today at Home Goods. If you guys wanna see more of these videos, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.